Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to show you in this tips and tricks episode all the options that are available in your start menu. Uh, and I've remade this video now because since the November update there are changes to the start menu and the options that we have for it. So this is in the settings panel when you go into the notifications you go into all settings you'll have something called personalization and when you click that you'll have start on the left side so the options available are show more tiles first, first of all uh, basic this is turned off by default so you see the difference you can of course show your tiles you can of course you know expand the menu like this if you want but that one's a little different because it gives more space so if you t turn it on it gives more space meaning that you can for example go up to four small icons right next to each other or two wide icons or uh, tiles so it's nice for that and it actually makes the uh, start menu even more appealing than before uh, occasionally show suggestions on start this is new so it will sometimes pop here in the middle uh, apps suggested apps from the Windows Store that you don't have that could be of interest to you and it could be interesting, it could be not. I leave it on because I like the suggestions sometimes. I'll check what they are. But if you don't want to have that displayed here in the middle, you can, of course, turn off the suggestions in the start. Show most used apps. Every time you open an app, it shows up here at the top as the most used apps. Um, if you don't want to have that list, you can, of course, turn it off. If you turn it off, it disappears from the start menu here at the upper left. Now, when you turn it off and back on, it resets your list. So remember that if you turn it off, when you turn it back on, you'll have to kind of do the list again or click, you know, it's going to redo itself depending on the apps that you're using. Show recently added apps. This is a very useful feature, by the way, because every time you go and get a, install a new program or get a new app from the Windows Store, it shows here in the middle as newly installed and that's very useful because it, you don't have to go uh, you know, into the all apps menu or search it for in Cortana for it to actually work or, or you know, find it and so on. And you can from here already right click and just do whatever you want, add its icon or its style to the start menu or in the taskbar and stuff like that. So it's good for that also. And other um, options in the start menu. You also have um, use start full screen. If you like this full screen experience, you can, of course, use the start menu in full screen mode in your computer. Uh, personally, I think this option is better for those using a, a touch device. Uh, personally, I don't really use, there's no touch feature in this laptop, so I don't really, you know, my, I'd rather have the regular start menu uh, in the options, so I'll leave this option to off. And uh, finally, the last option is show recently opened items in jump list on start or taskbar. So this means that when you have items that are open or items in, for example, the start menu, you see, for example, my file explorer has a little arrow next to it. This is the jump list. This is showing me all of the, um, you know, for example, in file explorer, all the folders and all the different um, you know, options like um, desktop downloads and so on that I've used with the File Explorer recently. And it does that with all the apps. So if you open different files with words, for example, you'll see that Word will also have its own jump list. So this could be useful if you want to easily access a document or access a folder um, because the jump list will always show what you opened recently uh, on your computer. So these are the options for the start menu and um, hopefully you found this video useful and interesting. If you did, why not subscribe? You can, you know, you'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up, helps us in the ratings on YouTube. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, why not ask? We'll try to post a video to help you. Thank you so much for following us on this channel.